Right, so in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. The first thing that we need is obviously VirtualBox, right? So there will be a link in the description below. You need to install VirtualBox from there, and I'll show you actually how to do this right now. So if you come to download. Now, whatever platform you're on, that's the platform you need to download VirtualBox for. So I'm on Windows. I guess most of you guys will be on Windows as well. So just download it and install it, and I'm going to show you the installation right now. Now, the installation process is straightforward if you just launch that. Basically, click Next, right, Accept next just press next and yes and yes now from here um, I just recommend actually just pressing next just leave it as it is and then install and that's to be honest it just wait like two minutes and it'll be installed and then you're gonna get a window with VirtualBox right so basically if you get this window Oracle VirtualBox manager that means you have basically installed a VirtualBox successfully and now from here we just need to basically get a copy of Kali Linux and then we can install Kali Linux and be ready to go now from here what we just need to do is come to Kali.org as I said all the links will be in the description below come to virtual machines and then what you need to do is you just need to download VirtualBox right save it somewhere safe because you can actually reuse this and um, this file you can reuse this as many times as you want but obviously if you like have it for too long and they're going to release too many versions you're going to have an outdated version so i would maybe recommend from time to time just coming here if you're going to reuse this file just coming here and taking a new version and then from there and um, extracting the files which i'm going to show you in a second what to do now the file that you have downloaded from kali.org that is basically your virtual machines in a zip file now yes virtual machines you can actually extract these files as many times as you want and you're always going to get a virtual machine now what you need to do is you just need to extract the zip file and what you're going to get is you're going to get a folder this folder is basically your virtual machine right so if you take a basically virtual box right not right here right so if you literally just press add and you come to the folder you have extracted and if you literally just press like on the on the icon right here and you're going to get basically a, a virtual machine from here come to settings and from here you can change the name for example i'm going to change it to kali linux right now you're going to come to something a little bit down from general a little bit down to system and what you've got is something called base memory i would recommend setting it maybe to like i mean obviously i've got 64 gigs so i can give it a lot but for you i recommend maybe like 10 gigs 10 gigs is absolutely fine for kali i'm you're not probably going to use most of that but like it's better to have extra press ok and as soon as you have changed the settings, obviously you can explore the settings. If you want to change some other things, you're free to do so. I'm just going to press start. As soon as you press start, don't really try to play, play around too much. Just leave the virtual machine to like start up itself. As you can see, it says powering on. And as you can see, it started itself. Right, so just um, press the little maximizing button, press enter, and it's going to start itself. Right, so as soon as you get this login page, all you have to do is just type in Kali Kali. And what you're going to get is you're basically going to get your system. Now, as soon as it loads up, you're going to see that basically the screen and the mouse is integrated and it is working beautifully. Why? Because Kali pre-built machines have basically something called guest additions already installed, right? So that's basically everything is already working. So if you minimize, right, so if you close it, like make it smaller, the window, and make it bigger the screen is going to resize and as you can see everything's working fine however there is still one more thing we need to do because we don't have our clipboard or we can actually share the files like we can't move the files between the systems um it'll be devices sorry come to devices and drag and drop bi-directional come to devices shared clipboard bi-directional bi-directional basically means both so you can copy from your virtual machine to your computer from your computer to virtual machine right now the next thing i'm going to get you to do if something is not working so if the guest additions are not working properly what you're going to have to do is type in sudo apt get install as you can see the command right there let me just make this bigger right so this is the command you need to basically type in right so you just need to install the guest addition so if you press enter put your password in as you can see, for me, it's already installed. For you, it should also be installed, but if there's some problems, just try to install it. Oh, one more thing I recommend doing is updating your system. So if you type in sudo apt update and basically sudo apt full upgrade hyphen y to confirm everything, it's going to update your system. And it might take like 20 to 30 minutes because it is quite a big update. And then from there, as soon as you update it, what you need to do to basically make sure that clipboard and drag and drop is working, you just need to type in sudo nano bash rc put your password in and then at the bottom so if you press ctrl down down arrow what it's going to do is going to take you all the way to the bottom and all you have to do is just copy this command this right here make sure that the capitalization is correct so 
capital V, capital B, OX, client, clipboard, right? Just copy the whole command. The command will be in the description below. You will not be able to copy it. You'll just have to type it out, right? And as soon as you do this, all you have to do is press control X and then Y and then enter, right? Because it's going to ask you to save. And then all you have to do is just type in sudo reboot now. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And everything should be working as technically as supposed to be. Right, so type in your password, it should be Kali Kali. And now from here, what I should be able to do if I basically, right, so if I copy, for example, something from my Discord, right, and I, for example, open a mouse pad, and as you can see, I copied, so if I copy, for example, um, secret, right, and I copy on my Discord, yep, there it is, right, so it's working. So everything should be working. If you have followed the steps as I have showed you, everything should be working properly and beautifully. And to be honest, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I helped you out. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. And peace. Thank you for watching.